Hi, my name is Alex Lubomirski and today we are answering a question from Joe Dickens who wanted to know how I edit a story and how I um, lay out a story. So after every shot, I will go back to the laptop and I will start editing immediately. I don't sort of look at each detail, whether the hair's in the right place or whether the dress is perfect. I will just generally go through and any image that just I feel in my gut I like, I will put into a file or I'll tag it. When I first come back, I'll probably edit it down from 100 frames to maybe like 30 or 40 frames. And then I'll edit that 30 or 40 frames down to 15 frames, and then edit that one down to five frames. I'm getting rid of all the ones like the blinking shots, the out of focus shots. So I'm not generally looking for a final image immediately. I'm just going through and any image that jumps out at me, for whatever reason, I just immediately put into a file. <laughs> So it's very important to keep an eye on the shoot as it's evolving during the shoot day. And I like to edit as quickly as possible because I want to know exactly how the story is shaping up and what we're missing and whether we need more headshots or more, um, more full lengths or more three quarter lengths or more environmental shots. When you're doing a layout, you need to know, you have to think about the, 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 the double page spread. What is going to go next to what and are they going to look good together? If they don't work well together, then you've got to swap this image for something else. So for example here, we have this um, full length shot of her amongst these lanterns. So then let's say I go for uh, a, a, next, a page to go next to it and it's this one. When I say left hand pages and right hand pages, you've got to think about how the magazine, how the images weight, the weight of the images and what side they're heavier on. So for example, the left hand page here is fine. It's, it can either be a left hand or a right hand page. You've got to think about the gutter of a magazine. When you're opening the, the, the magazine, Anything that's too close to the gutter is going to almost fold into the fold, fall into the fold. So you've got to think about how that image, what's the, what's the best use of space for that image? So if you look at the right hand image here, for me personally, that's not a great right hand image because she's veering towards the middle of the page, which would be the gutter, and she's looking out. For me personally, I prefer it when the two images coincide, they work well together. So I might swap this right hand image I'm going to swap this image out for this one. Let's find out where that is. See, that, for me, works a lot better. She's at the girl on the right-hand page. She's all the way on the right. She's looking into the double-page spread. She's looking at the camera, whereas the other girl is looking off. She's right in the center of the page. It's a full length next to a three-quarter length. So everything kind of just marries. There's no strict rules about this. It's really just about your own personal gut feeling and what, what, what you like. So this is just my personal taste. It's definitely not the, the only way. Also, then you, you gotta think about sort of, you know, is it a black and white next to a color? Is it, uh, does it have a white border around it? All these things you can play with. That's the fun about editing a layout is that you can really think about how the pages go together whether they have a frame around them, how they, how they, how they sort of, uh, how the sto story flows. So the other very important thing is you might have this amazing shot that you absolutely love, but you've got to be strict with yourself. Does it fit in the whole story? Is it in line with the whole personality or the character of the story? Just because it's a fantastic picture, don't force it into a story if it doesn't work, because otherwise it's going to stand out and make the rest of the story look weird. So if you're doing like a super smiley, happy story, and all of a sudden you have this one image where she's like super dramatic and she's like pain and da da da, but it's an incredible image, keep that for your own personal file. It's not going to work in that story. So don't try and force it into that story. So this story I'm going to show you uh, just to explain how I edit and uh, how I lay it out. I'm, I'm going to show you an old story I did. I think it was 2008 maybe. Um, it was for German Vogue and we did a shoot that was supposed to be done in Beijing. The, the shoot got cancelled for one reason or another and we had to do it in Chinatown in New York and make it look a bit like Beijing.
So this is how I roughly laid out the shoot on the set, just so I wanted to see if it was fitting together. So I tend to sort of, I like to start every now and then on a double page spread, because you've got to think about the, where the text is going to go, where's the title of the story. So the reason I, I like this as a, as a first double page spread is because on the left-hand side, over here, you can have a title of the story, etc. It's always nice to lead with the, the, the weight of the image on the right page. So when they open up on the right page, it's the first thing they see. So I wanted to start off with this beautiful image inside this club and then to go here and I wanted to take it immediately outside and take it into a more of a sort of environmental, showing, showing the place that she inhabits. Um, I also loved in this story that we were able to do daylight mixed with, uh, with nighttime stuff. So you get this really beautiful mixture in this story and which you can play with when you lay it out. So again, I like the idea that this girl on the, on the bicycle, full length environmental picture, right next to this very sort of dynamic, kinetic energy, nighttime flashy shot. So two very contrasting images, but I think they work well together. Uh, and then it goes on to here. Again, full, full length next to a three quarter, looking at the camera, not looking at the camera. And the thing is, that when you place images together, there can be any connection. It could be like, I mean, these two I liked because they were sitting. Sometimes I, I don't like two sitting pictures next to each other, but these two I like because they were sitting. Uh, but they were sitting pictures, but in very different environments. One was a very nighttime shot, one was a very sort of court moment outside. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna come around here. Man down. <laughs> That's on camera. <laughs> so when you're editing, don't freak out too much about which image you choose. Because I, I guarantee you, I look back at my old shoots, I look back at these shoots, this shoot now, and I, I think this was the image I chose, and now I'm looking at this image going, huh, interesting I didn't choose this one. I guarantee every day you look at the shoot, you'll choose a different one. So don't spend hours looking at this, looking at this, going, huh, I don't know, the, she's looking this way, she's looking this way, she looks good in both, which one should I do, which one should I do? I just trust my gut. I just very quickly glanced at it, Whichever one jumps out at me, I just choose it. Because remember, this is going in a magazine. A magazine lasts 30 days. Um, yes, it might go into an archive, it might come out in your 50 year retrospective, but you can always go back and choose something else. Don't go crazy with your edit. And if you really can't decide, ask people their, their, ask people their opinion. Also, if you want to send both to the magazine and let them decide, if you're super happy with both of them, send them both. The magazine will be more than happy to get a larger edit to pick from, because they want to feel like they uh, have a say in the edit. If I like a magazine, I will give them maybe three to five frames that I love of a particular shot, and they can choose from it. But don't give anything you don't like. You know, if, you, if you're giving five images, but you're not too sure about two of them, do not send them. There's a very good chance that they will pick those images. I've said it a thousand times before. I always like to send the layout idea to the magazine because then it kind of shows how you formatted the whole story in your head, how you saw all the pictures marrying together. If they don't use it, they don't use it. But it might just help them guide them into a way that you were thinking of the story, which, which way the story was going to go. It's good for my nose. <laughs> so make sure you really think about your cropping. <laughs> Feel free to play around when you're editing, when you're laying out your story. The, the great thing about shooting digital nowadays is that you shoot everything raw. Feel free to play with it, you know, just allow yourself the freedom to crop it differently. Maybe if it's a full length or it's a three quarter length, you might just want to go straight into here. Turn it black and white. Put a white border around it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So if I've forgotten anything, I'm really sorry. Um, if you want to know anything else, please write in the comments below. Have fun and uh, good luck. See you around. <laughs>